The Finance Data Lake at GE, we're bringing data from hundreds of systems, billions of transactions together. And when we look at making that data actually useful and usable, we have multiple things we're trying to accomplish with that. The first is we're trying to understand and to explain events as they've happened. And so being able to look at the full life cycle of a transaction and understand that causality and present to our users an opportunity to link things that previously they weren't able to link or explain or understand is an outcome into and of itself, making that data readily available to end users who can explain and analyze it. The other thing that we find is incredibly useful in the data models we're able to engineer as a result of the insights we gain from IO Tahoe is to take that same causality and relationship to drive and improve better data science models and outcomes, to be able to do things like drive predictions and anomaly detections in ways that we weren't able to do before. And we're able to do all of that cheaper and more efficiently by harnessing the power of machine learning rather than human labor to find these insights and relationships and incorporate them into our data model in the lake. The other things that we found is, for instance, the ability to use these correlations, to use these relationships to do things like more accurately predict our cash flow and disbursements, which for GE is a core business driver. We need to manage cash and capital allocations better. So that's another thing we've been able to drive with IO Tahoe. You know, what does this relationships mean for our company, right? In a financial and an operational finance domain, you really need to understand the causal behavior, what's happening and why it's happening, right? And for you to really be able to understand that, you need to be able to stitch the life cycle of a transaction and the relationship that it holds. So what IOTAO is really helping us is really find those relationships, unfold them, so that then we as a team can really present that to our customers and our functional users who can then build analytics on top of it to really discover different, different patterns. We are really leveraging the power of IOTAHO. And you know, it goes a little beyond. There is a ton of complexity between what I'm trying to articulate and what we're really solving technically. If you think about something like a contract, right? A contract can have 10 different interpretations. And based on the kind of contract we're talking about, it needs to link to the different sets of data. So that's where we're using IHO to do something like subsectioning or subcategorization, we call it, so that it's able to identify what type of contract we're talking about. And based on that, what is the relationship now they need to build? And each of these relationships are different, and they need to recognize the pattern of each type of contract to do the right kind of relationship building. There's a huge difference in terms of like how we can define the framework, whether it's an ETL framework or it's a data modeling, to link the two different data sets is a huge help. And it has introduced a lot of opportunities for us to find out the unknown relationships that you could have never imagined, could have discovered in a short period of time.